Hey, I'm Dr. Dave Harris, and I want to welcome you to this series of videos on video and television production. We're talking about video cameras, and specifically in this video, we're talking about parts of the video camera. I have a studio video camera here, which they come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. This one's a little bit smaller, and it's mounted on a sled, which is a little bit different than what you might normally find in a studio, but you're going to have things that look like this nevertheless. So we have the camera here. Inside the teleprompter, we've got the lens. This is the teleprompter here, which allows words to be reflected above on the glass here and allows the talent to read those words and be looking directly at the lens, which is going to be right here. I've got a better picture of that in just a second. I've got a program monitor. And this right here from about here down is called a pedestal, a studio pedestal. This one's a little bit older, but they all have the same idea uh, that allows for movement throughout the studio. It's gone three legs and then it has this single turret that goes up and down or pedestal that goes up and down. And then in the back, I've got a viewfinder, a couple of handles, which allow for zoom and focus. And here's a little bit of a close-up. I've got the camera right here. So the camera is from here, in this case, to here. And I've got the lens right in here. And then I also want to alert you to this piece right here. This is called the plate. And this allows the camera to be mounted, in this case, to the pedestal. This could just as easily be a tripod or something like that. All it is is just a matter of moving this red thing out of the way, pulling the lever out, the camera comes back and up just a little bit, and it will be dislodged from the pedestal. Here's a front view where we can see a better shot of the teleprompter. I've got the lens right here, and if I was to have text on this monitor, it would be actually backwards text, so that when it's reflected on this glass right here, it's perfectly readable, and the talent would be able to just be reading right on the screen while that person is looking right into the lens. And then down here, I've got the program monitor. I've got a tally light right here so that the talent knows when that camera is currently live. And I've got a camera number down here. We do it pretty low key down here we just have the lead, the word three and the number three on that to signify that it's camera three we also have a couple lenses this is a studio lens uh, you could tell because it's a low uh, low focal length this one's only a 40 by or 40x lens and this is a field lens they do the exact same thing they're shaped a little bit differently this one's a little bit larger in diameter this one's a canon i believe this one is a fujinon it could be a canon i can't tell right there but uh, those are the common lens manufacturers is canon and fujinon so we've also got studio and field lenses this one's more common in this in the field although you will see ones like this in the field especially at sports events where you need a longer throw or a longer magnification you'll have a 70 by or even larger than that we also have zoom lenses and we have prime lenses. Now, both of these are zoom lenses. Prime lenses, not as common in television production, but they do have their place, especially if you're going to be shooting like post-produced sitcoms or dramas, something like that. So these lenses have a lot of, of things that they do. They allow for magnification, they allow for focus, they allow for iris control or aperture. And we do have another video on lenses. I invite you to look at that. This video is part of a series of videos on television and video production. I invite you to go to our channel where we have playlists that better organize the videos. You can watch the whole thing. Do subscribe for more videos as you see them. And do please go to our Patreon account and become a patron of the channel. Help us out by throwing a few dollars our direction. It would really help us out to produce more videos just like this. I'm Dr. Dave Harris, and I thank you for your support.